Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jio 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. In this today's session, I'm going to explain about the what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, the Exata patching. Uh, in my previous video, I already covered about the types of patching like rolling, non-rolling and hybrid patching. Like various uh, types of patching method you can opt it when you were plan to do your Exata patching. So in this particular session, I'm going to uh, go over what are the advantages and disadvantages of rolling patching and non-rolling patching and hybrid patching. So if I can quickly show you about my previous uh, lecture so i already covered about what are the components of exata and what all component a uh, platinum will do and what all component customer has to do and then what are the the patching methods how how the patching method works and what are the different tools so and then the, the, all this this uh, you know basically the, the the exact architecture everything i covered in my previous videos so if you missed out my previous videos you can always refer it in my channel uh, malik 34 and if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik 34 and then please do subscribe if you like my video please uh, you know uh, give thumbs up and then uh, share and like uh, my videos Okay, let's start with the today's session. Exata patching, uh, rolling, non-rolling, and hybrid patching, uh, and what are the what are these advantages and disadvantages? If you can see rolling patching, so I, I'm just going to uh, explain about uh, the the quarter rack. So if you if you see uh, this particular slide where uh, I already covered uh, what is eighth rack, quarter rack, half rack, full rack, how many DB nodes and compute nodes, and then storage servers and IB switches. So everything I covered in my previous session, you can refer it. So I'm just giving an example of this quarter rack or uh, uh, you know uh, one year track so considering i have uh, like db node 1 and uh, you know uh, db node 2 and uh, three storage servers and uh, two infinite band switches so these are my like data component so if i go with the rolling patching so if you can see here advantages are like does not require database downtime rolling patching if you can see here i'm i'm bringing down node 1 patching i'm doing a m update on node 1 and i'm doing a bundle patch on node 1 right and uh, db node uh, so i'll start with the pre patch work like just a quick check i'll do before start of the patching and then i'll do the sanitary reboot of uh, both the db nodes like i'll do db node one first and then uh, you know i will once the db node is up i can do uh, reboot of db node two uh, or else you can do one db node and i can do uh, you can reboot one db node and then you can do one db node patching and you can do second db node and you can do the second db node patching whatever combination you can go with this time i'm giving a sanitary reboot for two hours and i will do m of Update on node one and bundle patch and GI home and DB home. And once the node one is done, I will start with the node two patching, M update and bundle patch. And then once the bundle patch is done on the DB home, so at the database level, I'm going to run the uh, cat bundle or the data patch. Okay, so that is the advantage here. Like does not require database downtime. So it needs only instance downtime when I'm doing that particular node. If I'm doing node one patching, only instance in that node will be down. The other instance will be up and running in other node. Application can access to that instance, right? Does not require downtime. That's the first advantage. And second advantage, it's online patching one node will be patched at a time so i'm patching only one node at a time so there's no downtime of database only instant downtime is net does not require database wide downtime there's a minimal downtime as instance or shutdown on that particular uh, node which is going patched right so if i'm patching this node only this instance will be down if i'm patching this node only this instance will be down and other instance will be up and running okay then disadvantages are this group should be in high redundancy that is a recommended one even though if you are normal redundancy you can do it but recommended one should be high redundancy because you know when there is a there is a chance of disk failure during the cell patching so that time there will be loss of data so if you have a high redundancy there will be other mirrored copy which will uh, you know save your loss uh, uh, you know against the loss of data like this group should be in high redundancy that's a recommended one so even though if you have normal redundancy you can go with that no issues asm require you know uh, requires asm storage management as a high redundancy to reduce the risk of disk failure for example if you have a high redundancy one copy of data will be in cell one one copy of data will be in cell two and one copy of data will be in cell three like cell one cell two and cell three right so in case of if you are doing this particular cell one patching and one copy of data is lost and if any disk failure on the cell two 
so there will be high uh, chances of you know losing your data when you have uh, normal redundancy because there will be only two copies right if primary copies will be on cell one and secondary copies will be on cell two if you are patching cell one and uh, at the same time if you lose the disk on the cell two there may be a chance of you know data loss that is why you know if you have a high redundancy it rolling patching is a good option if you have a normal redundancy with the risk you can proceed with the rolling patching no impact in that right so that's a one of the consideration you have to take and the length of patching uh, time will be more right you have to do one component at a time so patching window will be more uh, estimated time i'm given here just a rough estimation and the must be oracle database 12 11.2 11.2 or higher so this is a minimum requirement if you have 11.1 or 10g you cannot do the uh, you know rolling patching so this is about the rolling patching if i quickly go to the non rolling patching what are the advantages and disadvantages i'll quickly cover it so if you see this particular timeline here so i will start with the pre patch work and then i will do the sanity reboot of both the db nodes in a, in a one shot because uh, it's a non rolling all the database cluster all the services will be down and then i'll start with the m and bundle patch on the gi home and db home on node 1 and node 2 together and then i'll start the cat bundle and data patch in 11g and 12c database and then i'll do the pre patch reboot of all the storage servers and i'll do the cell patching and cell 1 2 3 in in one shot parallelly and then i will do the ib switch patching 1 and 2 so with that if you can see advantage requires a less amount of a downtime uh, for the patching window if you consider the entire patching a window it will be like 750 minutes whereas in in my uh, rolling patching it will be like 1560 uh, minutes right and eliminate the risk of a single disk failure like here uh, you know redundancy does not matter whether it's a normal redundancy high redundancy or external redundancy that doesn't matter and uh, eliminate the risk of single disk failure even though single disk failure or two disk failure doesn't matter for me right now because everything will be down i can do my patching without any issue any disk group redundancy is acceptable right any redundancy is acceptable here in non-rolling patching and disadvantages are does not require database downtime uh, sorry uh, disadvantages does require database time so throughout my patching window you are you cannot be able to access your database so it's a complete downtime database will be down throughout the entire patching window right so as i say like if the database downtime required and you know all the service will be down throughout my data my entire patching so that's the biggest disadvantage right and then um, if i can uh, you know go with a hybrid approach i can see i mentioned hybrid approach one and hybrid approach two here so i'll quickly cover hybrid approach one where in hybrid approach one i will do db node patching as a rolling fashion and cell node patching as a non-rolling fashion and in hybrid two patching uh, db node patching i will do it as non-rolling fashion and uh, you know cell patching i'll do it as a rolling fashion so i'll cover the hybrid patching one now so if you can see this particular window here uh, what i'm going to do db node patching as a rolling fashion right so if you can see sanity reboot of both the db nodes and i'll do m patching and yeah bundle patch on the node one and m patching on node two bundle patching on the node two and then once it comes to the cell patching i will do all the three cells in one shot and then ib patching if you can see our advantage is flexible patching window it's a flexible you can uh, you know uh, compress your patching time and you can uh, stop any patching win event at any time and you can start the uh, patching event later sometime or you can uh, do cell patching rolling and non rolling uh, 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 you know uh, uh, db patching vice versa whatever approach you can you can do it's like flexible you can opt many options here in this hybrid approach and partial downtime is needed based upon the patching approach partial downtime right if you go with the db node downtime so while doing the db nodes it, your database will be down if you're doing a cell patching as a non-rolling and during the cell patching your dbs will be down so it's like a partial downtime approach and uh, comparatively less patching window as compared with the rolling again you can see i need a thousand uh, eighty minutes if i go with the rolling it will be thousand five hundred so so comparatively less patching window like completely you can you can you know, compare with the rolling event it be less and if you compare with the non rolling it's slightly higher it's 750 is a non rolling and if it's hybrid it's like uh, uh, 1080 and disadvantages are like partial database downtime is needed if you can see rolling uh, cell patching i'm doing it a non rolling so that time your uh, entire database cluster where all the services will be down so that's the only disadvantage and if we go with the uh, uh, hybrid uh, patching approach too, the advantages and disadvantages remain same as uh, uh, hybrid patching one. Both uh, advantages and disadvantages are same, but where at 
whereas in hybrid patching two method i'm going uh, db node patching as a non rolling patching and cell patching as a rolling patching if you can see here uh, i will do the pre patch work i will do the sanitary boot and then i will do yam and bundle patch on both the db node 1 and db node 2 so both the db node i'm shutting it down and then i'm doing the patching of bundle patch as well as yam update so your database will be down during this db node 1 and db node 2 patching whereas coming to the cell patching so you 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 can again uh, you know e e uh, the patching approach will be rolling you can access your database during the cell patching and then again followed by ib switch patching right this is about the hybrid approach too and then you can go with uh, any kind of approach i i will do like db node one of and then uh, db node two uh, parallelly and then i will do cell one and cell two parallelly cell three i can do it sometime later you know whatever approach you can go with a uh, uh, hybrid uh, patching approach so these are the like basically three patching approaches uh, you know rolling non rolling and hybrid you can uh, based upon this advantages and disadvantages you can and based upon the downtime you can choose which bet which uh, patching method is best suits for uh, your uh, production or non production or you wait here qa so you know you can you can opt it uh, and then uh, that's it for the today session uh, thank you guys